Welcome to Black and White Audits. We're on our way to the job centre right now, but I thought I'd start this one early because I've got a bit of a backstory for this one. Uh, now, I'm actually on benefits right now, and I uh, <clears throat> pulled up the G4S guy for basically being the guy that holds the guest list, the appointment list. <clears throat> um, I made a complaint about it and I just said, you know, it's the GDPR breach, I'd rather have just DWP employees that uh, controlled who was coming in and out and knew the full names of the people. <clears throat> um, and that kind of got sorted for a while. It was, um, but I think they were just doing it just to appease me and my appointments. But uh, a couple of weeks ago, well, it must be about a month and a half now actually, uh, I went in and they were doing it again. So I just kind of made a fuss about it. Um, and I also put through my online um, universal credit account, I put in some accessibility needs and said that um, I need to be able to come in and record my appointments because they were threatening me with like sanctions even though I'm like genuinely looking for a job. And uh, yeah, so I put that in saying I need to be able to record my interactions and my appointments and since then I've not had an appointment. They said they'd get back to me about arranging something else. Um, I've not heard back now and that's been about six weeks. So we're just going to go in and make sure G4S aren't on the guest list, appointment list. <clears throat> Um, if it's a big fat guy, he's really rude. He was acting like a playground bully, basically. So I'm just going to nip in really quick. Straight in. Ah, there you go. There's the appointment list right there. We've got G4S on it. GDPR breach. <coughs> Excuse me, yep. you're going to film, you're going to have to leave. Oh, uh, no. And Mr. Howell, have you got an appointment today? Uh, no. No. Well, if there's no reason for you to be in the office... Well, I was, just seeing, I was just seeing if G4S had access to the appointment list, which they do still. Even though I've made three no. separate complaints about it. I can't get into any conversations with you. There's other people here that it's a security issue. And That's a security issue right there, look. I understand that, but you, there's no reason for you to be able to any of that information. It doesn't relate to you. Either is G4S. Can I ask you to leave the business, please? You can ask. Thank you. So that's the police being phoned. Excuse me. Yes, sir. Right. Unfortunately, we've been asked to leave the premises. Yes. Continue. Well, so please do so. You've got no authority to record on the building. DWP do not give you authority to record it's on the building. Publicly accessible. They do not. There's people uh -huh. have right to privacy. So please leave the building. Right to privacy from G4S as well. A right to privacy from G4S as well. A right to privacy. You've still got. The, please leave the building. You've still got the appointment list. Please leave the building. SAA license well, right there. The police will be called. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> we do this at police stations as well. Um, there's no. They won't be able to force me out either, by the way. So we'll just have a little look at this public information here. Obviously, because police have been called, they're going to have to take a seat and wait for them to arrive. All your public information there. That's great. And that's the guy I was talking about before. So, what have we got here? So all your leaflets. So. Your first interesting interaction in Elgin. I'll have to go to a big city if I want. I'm going to take a seat here and we'll pick it up when the police get here. I'm going to take it outside because it's a bit warm in here. I'll wait for them to come. Yeah, I've noticed you've not got a 
Um, it's SI license on display. It's on the other side. Magic, cheers. So ears are open at times. No, you're not allowed. Use of recording equipment is not permitted, apparently. Good. And some more information. I don't know if you can read that because of the reflection in the window. I'm still out here. <laughs> oh, we've been locked out. Look at that. Okay, okay. Interesting. We'll go around the side then. Publicly accessible. Did you look at that? Shouldn't have went outside. I messed up. Should have saved my ground. I'll learn next time. An interesting wee layout out here. At least they've got privacy glass and all these bits where the computers are facing, that's uh, credit to them there. Mm-hmm. What have we got in here? Not much to see. No, that used to be where you'd go for your old um, appointments, where they changed it to back out front. Let's see what they've got down here. Nothing. Dead end. Eh. Right, we'll go back. Elgin's not a big town, so the police won't be far away. I can't believe I got doxxed. I don't even edit my videos when I've got a PC. <laughs> he only knows my name because I've complained about this before. Oh, windy day today. So yeah, they've got privacy with uh, glass all the way around here. Something that you don't see in every job centre video. Not much to see there. Making work pay. Mm. Don't know. Thinking about going over to France and just taking a dinghy back over. I think that's a better deal. This should be interesting, this is someone coming in for a, an appointment, door's locked. Hate to knock, door's locked. I've locked me out for recording. Oh. Oh. Well, I've complained three times about the G4S having the guest list, because it's a GDPR breach. And then I went in there to record them and they... Uh, They've locked down the whole place and called the police, so we're waiting for the police to come. Oh. Well, they're going to be running away from us, I've got my own losing shit. Sorry. It's alright. I'll go away and let them let you in. <laughs> Is what it is. So quick to complain about privacy, but when it comes to 
people complaining about the appointment list, you know? I don't give two shits. We're gonna put it on pause, we'll pick it up when the police get here. It's locked. Ah, oh, right. Uh, I went in there and I was just recording an interaction and they've locked the whole place down. I didn't. Oh, right, oh, right. I was only popping to see my husband at work, so that was alright. Oh. I was only popping to see that if he was here for two minutes. Oh, thank you. The police on their way. Rooms. They just parched right over it. Are they on their way? I don't know if this is going to be the end of it or not, guys. Because um, I might not have phoned them now that I'm outside. I've kind of fucked it. Uh, I'll put on pause again. We'll pick it up. There's a big fat shite here, look. Make him famous. Wonder when my next appointment will be. I've not had one for like six weeks now. And I have said um, in the accessibility needs in my profile that I need to be able to record my uh, my appointments. Because quite frankly, the um, every it was a weekly appointment. That was the first thing. Uh, I live. I don't live in Elgin. I live close to Elgin. Um, and I'm spending about £7 for the return journey in petrol per week coming in just to be threatened with sanctions because you know I'd be overly honest about the way I'm searching for jobs um, you know I, I said to them I can't be like I went to uh, interview in Inverness and it basically sounded like I was going to get the job um, I didn't get the job and I said to them I can't just be driving out to Inverness um, and not getting the job, that's like £20 of fuel for me. And they said to me, well, you're supposed to you're supposed to be able to take any job that you're capable of getting, so um, there's possibility of getting sanctioned. Um, I get £250 per month after my um, original advance. Um, yeah, that would be gone in like 10 job interviews in a month, you know what I mean? So I was just being honest about how I was going about my work search and uh, every time, without fail, about four times in a row, the lassie mentioned that there's a possibility I could get sanctioned. Um, so the the last time I actually did have an interview, um, appointment, whatever, uh, it did kind of turn into a bit of a shouting match. Um, yeah. Because they just kind of make you agree to, it's not really clear what they make you agree to and then they just kind of pull it up on you like, oh well, you've agreed to this. And I kind of said to her, well, we'll have to go back and look at the agreement then because I'm honestly looking for a job. I really need a job right now. I've got kids, you know what I mean? It's come up to summer holidays. I've been looking for a job constantly since February and I just keep not hearing back. And I email to find out about the jobs and uh, no one seems to just get back in touch. Um, so, that's the story behind why I'm here today. I don't usually do job centres, although I think it might be on the cards anytime I go to um, other cities. I think I will be.
looking at doing job centers just because the G4S is so consistent for shitty interactions. Yeah. I don't think the police are coming guys. The police would have been here by now, they're only five minutes away. I've been waiting for about half an hour now. Well we'll call this part one. I've made my presence well known. They know I'm recording, they know that I'm putting it on social media because I've discussed it before. You know, I've given them plenty of warning. I said I've got a YouTube channel, I don't want to come in here and make a fuss because I am on benefits and, you know, I'd like to maintain the best relationship I can with the people, that, like my work coach, that's what they call it. Um, but to be fair, I've complained about it three times. This is the fourth time now um, about the GDPR and it's just fallen on deaf ears, they don't care. You know, they're willing to cite privacy as a concern when I go in there with a camera, but they're not willing to actually administrate their own appointment book themselves. Very strange. Um, see, I'd like the police to come and I'd like to get an interaction, but there's not really much point now that I'm outside. Next time I will be sitting inside firms sitting there without capitulating or going outside. I shouldn't have come outside, I should have known that. I should have known better. Yeah, we'll cut it off here guys. This is a part one. I'll definitely be doing a follow-up to this very soon. Maybe in the next week or so. Yeah. So black and white from Elgin Job Centre Plus. Over and out.